gosh, it's so great to be here. My name is Linda Marcus Smith. That's three names. Thank you, Charlie. Three names I go by. Three names because I'm still mad about John Wilkes Booth. Anybody? I know, boomers be holding grudges. Uh, my gosh. John Wilkes Booth makes me so mad. He does. He was in the theater that day because he was an actor when Lincoln got shot. And as an actor, he got famous with one headshot. Close <laughs> my mind, shoot. <laughs> I've been aging. Anybody else up in here have been aging? I know, yeah. I'm one of the golden girls. I'm like one of those songs from the Motown group, The Platters. I'm like a great pretender. <laughs> pretending I'm not aging, pretending everything's going well. We're the greatest pretenders, not the greatest decade. We're the greatest pretenders. Yeah. And it's so hard doing comedy, not because I'm old, but because I'm so stinking hot. Right, sir? <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry, I'm not a cougar. I'm not after you. Yeah. And it's so hard doing comedy because I'm so old. <laughs> and everybody was like, no, you didn't laugh at that. Never mind. <laughs> you get it, right? We're getting older. Yeah. I had a birthday. I just turned 21. <laughs> Times three plus nobody's business. Nobody. Yeah. But uh, suffice it to say, I've buried a lot of AARP bags. <laughs> I know, it's a big undertaking, but someone's got to do it. <laughs> I'll bury yours if they get old, okay? Yeah. I, uh, I love to mess with people from the East Coast. Anybody from the East Coast? No? I hear it in the back. The tougher the East Coast person, like a New Yorker, the more I like to mess with them. Like I like to shimmy up to them and say, well, I'm from the Upper West Side too. And they're like, no, you're not. And I'm like, yes, I am of the map, Oregon. Yeah, Loserville. A little town nobody's ever heard of in the news at all. Portland, Oregon. Yeah. My town's a punchline. And I'm the best export. I had to fight Tanya Harding for that. <laughs> and I win. And I started comedy very, very young in life, at age 63. <laughs> it's the new young. Yeah, that's right. And in my hometown, we had a comedy club, and they told me I had so much potential. So much. Isn't that great to hear that? but we'll never book you. <laughs> well, that's a stupid thing to say. I said, why not? And they said, because you you're too dang old and you have nothing in common with the young people. Nothing. So I did what the young people do. I Googled it. I found a whole list of things we all have in common. You want to see my little list? Yeah. Here you go. Oops. <laughs> I have to hold on to one end of it. <laughs> a whole list, yeah, a whole toilet paper CBS list of things. For instance, I know young people, they love their one night stands. Have you heard about this, Cammie? They love their, I love my one night stands. I get mine at Ikea. Yeah. They love the planet. I love the planet. But I just took the trash to the curb once. I never let him back in again. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I had, all, I did magic in Portland. Whenever I got on stage, the young comics would get, go leave. I could make comics disappear. <laughs> they didn't want to have nothing to do with an old lady telling jokes. So you gotta pay attention to this because I'm gonna get on the ground. So I got on the ground, sorry about the view, sir. <laughs> I started doing sit-ups through my entire set. Are you watching, John? And I was doing these sit-ups just to get the guys outside to come back in and pay attention. So I was in the army. I could do this all day long and sing, do dishes. 
finally they started realizing that old bag isn't going to give up. Might as well. <laughs> they started coming back in and filming me. This was filming in 1951, right? <laughs> you get it? <laughs> and the video went viral. And that's why you guys get to see me up here tonight, because of my haters. Woo. So give it up for my haters, because that's what happens. They will elevate your game. I look really sweet and innocent, but in 1973, I was wanted, and I found it out at the post office. Uh, it was a poster of Uncle Sam. He said he wanted me. He wanted me. I'm a boomer. I wasn't taught to say no to a man. <laughs> Besides, if I couldn't say no to my real grandpa, how am I going to say no to a fake uncle? So I went in the military. And they put me in Germany. One woman with 2,000 men. I know. I was bad at math. It's a good thing I joined for three years. It took me three years to figure out how many times a day are they gonna keep trying to shove 2,000 into one? <laughs> and I'm the remainder, you're welcome. Thanks you guys, I'm Linda Marcus Smith. All right, let's hear it for Linda Marcus Smith. Oh yeah, play the music, let's go. Very nice. Yes, you got it. Let's take another, take another bow. Get up there, take another bow. Let's hear it for Linda Marcus Smith. Come on now. Let's hear it for Linda Marcus Smith. Yes. Very nice. Wasn't she great? Yes, exactly. All right. So, so before we bring out your headliner, I'm gonna do one magic trick for you because I promised you guys magic. Do you guys wanna see a magic trick? 